Here at Rhodes Elementary, we are fortunate to have the STEM program. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Every single student at this school gets to rotate through the STEM class and work on engineering projects. When thinking about how to design a challenge for STEM, you have to take into consideration what they are studying in class. And third grade studies um, the law of gravity, amongst other things in physical science, and so that was one of the reasons that um, I chose parachutes for third grade. This is my third grade class. We are doing our special STEM week that we have um, about every nine weeks and we get to do a big fun project. We go four hours in one week and right now they're learning how to build parachutes. It incorporates a lot of math, measurement, these kind of things are really going to be good for my classroom and teamwork is a big part of it. The designs are all really different. That's what's been neat is to see how all the different kids think about it and um, all the different ways none of them have been alike. We are going through the engineering design process where they ask, imagine, plan, create, and improve. The question that they're asking is, how does the design of a parachute affect the speed of a parachute? If you said you were going to do a square, then, then that's what you need to make. And then um, if you said it was going to be 10 inches, you need to cut that out. Use your rulers on your table. So follow your design. You know what you're going to do. Follow your design. If you want to change your design, you can. But you need to show me on the picture how you're changing it. They brainstorm about parachute design, what they want the canopy to look like. They look at the suspension lines and they, and they write down what they think the, the best length of those should be based on the materials that they're given. The challenge is to build their parachute out of everyday materials. After they brainstorm, they get together with the rest of their team and they come up with one design and then they get to build it. They have a price list of all the materials that are available and I gave each of them five dollars to spend they went to the store, bought the materials, and um, went back to their groups. And some of them spent all of their money right away, and some of them spent only a little money and then figured out they needed something different to make their design work and went back to the store um, to buy more. So they're learning a lot about um, how the real world works. And then the, the fun part was um, I got up on the top of the gym and dropped the parachutes off um, and they timed them going down. And the challenge was for the parachutes to drop slower than the control load. And um, usually the control load, which was the, um, the little spaceman with no parachute, fell in about 1.5 seconds. And then they had to make sure that their parachute was going to fall slower than that. And so far, all of them um, have, have met the challenge. Then, um, it's not over there, when we come back, then we um, look at all the data, they look at all of the different groups, we graph the data to find out um, what kind of design worked better than another kind of design, and then um, after all of that is done, if they were going to do it again, what would they change about their parachute? So when you're designing a parachute that you want to go slow, you've got to think about the materials. Remember when you did the, the computer simulation and you had to decide whether to use lots of materials or thinner materials and the ones with the thickest material they felt they, they fell too fast and they didn't work another way that we used technology was by incorporating digital cameras they had to take a picture of their group holding their parachute they had to take pictures during the test and that was neat because some of them had never used a digital camera before so it was fun to put the camera in their hands and get pictures from the student perspective with Common Core, which is the standards we are held accountable for in public school now, one of the things that it pushes is getting students to think more critically. And that's one of the things that STEM and, and STEM challenges do for students. They're always having to think in that way.